Okay, hey, glad you're here. This is the big, hairy, audacious assignment of the semester. It's a lot of work, it's worth a lot of points. I give you a lot of room and hopefully you won't uh, trip over the rope I'm giving you, but you have a chance to do something very innovative and interesting and focusing on a topic that, that, that you have passion about and that is relevant to your career, your profession. So let me, let me explain. Uh, it's a team assignment, which means you have to figure out how to, how to use leadership skills to, to work with other people. Right? You're gonna have to set deadlines, you're gonna have to commit to those deadlines, you're gonna have to figure out how to communicate. Note that the Canvas site, uh, the group that you're in, has a discussion board, it's got places to store files, you can use that, or you can set up your own Google site. You can communicate and coordinate any way you want, as long as you do it, do it well. You'll note when I go over the assignment that a big hunk of your grade is, uh, is attributed to how your teammate reviews you. So if you don't pull your weight, you will not be able to succeed in this assignment. Um, I'm looking forward to what you produce. Uh, there are a couple ways you can make deliverables, uh, and they can be a stylized case study report that is, can be written, or it could be something really fascinating like a short video or a song or a dance or whatever you think best communicates this topic to a, to a real audience, to an audience that you care about. I'm going to take the very best uh, presentations from the semester and push them out through my networks and very, various websites. So uh, I really hope you come up with something good. Let me dig into the assignment and give you a few of the specifics and, and so you can succeed. I'm going to share a screen. Hold on. Takes me a while. Okay, here is the assignment on Canvas. In a minute, we'll go to the Google Docs where the real meat is. Uh, but first of all, just let me share why it's so complicated is that there are all these different due dates, right? There are lots of different parts and each thing needs to be submitted in a different place to make it all that more complicated for you. It's just the easiest way to keep things sorted, keep points fairly uh, uh, awarded. So uh, this, the, this is the schedule. These are where you're going to turn in your assignments. And then down here at the bottom on Canvas, I've given you some examples. I've given you an example of a really good uh, stylized case study and also some examples of one of the main deliverables, which is called a 3SO, where you're going to do a sense, sense making exercise. So I've given you numerous examples here to help, help you get started. Let's go to the assignment itself, which is posted on Google Drive. Okay. Now here again, uh, the directions include uh, the learning outcomes, but let, let's skip down here past the, the due dates um, and recognize that the, maybe one of the biggest challenges you'll have is selecting uh, the situation you want to study. It couldn't basically be anything. It has to be some topic related to some aspect of sustainability that we're looking at. And that's, you know, there's a lot of leeway there in terms of what that topic must be. It needs to include some, uh, some actor, some, uh, some organizations, a company, a non-government organization, a government agency, somebody's doing something that are, it's affecting sustainable development. And there are going to be people involved, people like you in your career. You'll be able to learn about what they're doing. And I want you to go out and, and, and analyze that situation. Now, it has to be a manageable project. If it's, if it's like climate change in the world, that's bigger than something you can do in the semester. And if it's something like uh, what your roommate does in your dorm room, that's too small, right? You, it's, this is a Goldilocks, you need to find just the right example, right, just the right scale. And I've given you a few examples later in the in, in this assignment. Um, after you pick your project, and you're going to email me your, your uh, project title, so I just make sure you're on the right track, you're going to collect some data. Uh, ideally, you'd be able to interview somebody. Maybe all you're going to do is collect information using best research. Again, you can find information. I've pointed you towards lots of information. You can succeed with that, but that's, that's sort of a B project. I expect you to do a little bit more for an A project. Go out and find somebody, interview them, uh, learn about it, what they've done and why, ask them questions, ask them who else you should talk to, zoom them, record it. it. It could be fascinating. It could also help you do a really cool video. So you're going to do this sense-making exercise, which is basically looking at who the actors, who the strategies that they're using. So who are the stakeholders, the strategies they're using, what's the system that's being manipulated, is it climate, water, agriculture, what, and, and what outcomes do people want. It's a real simple approach, and again, I've given you some examples, but it can be 
pretty lengthy. This is a data analysis. You could collect 10 pages worth of data. But don't worry too much about cleaning it up and making it neat. What you do need to worry about is creating this, this case study overview. This is, a, this is the, the meat, right? You're going to describe the, what you're learning. You're going to describe where you're getting information. You're going to describe the, the, the sense-making exercise. And, and that's going to be turned in uh, on the, on near the end of the semester, almost at the very last day. Um, I'm, I'm then asking also to turn in the, a story, and this is going to be stylized. It can be something like the written case study that I give you an example in the, on Canvas, or it could be, um, it, as I said, it could be a video. Uh, uh, but basically what I want you to do is, is what's the challenge that's um, being discussed here? What, what are these people, problem are they solving? Who are they? And, and what are they doing? What have they done? And how did the system respond? What are, what are some of the outcomes? Um, and then, and then you're going to submit all that uh, on Canvas along with uh, a review of your teammate um, along this five-point scale. Uh, remember, I said that a big part of your grade will depend upon how well you deliver in the eyes of your of your teammate. So this is the vehicle by which you make that submission. And then at the very end of uh, of this, I want you to spend a, an hour and look at somebody other somebody else's submission, some some other team. Uh, what did they do? And then post a short reflection on lessons that you learned from uh, looking at, at, at their video or reading their case study. Um, here's the evaluation uh, criteria, and, and I, it was what you really want to see down here are example topics. So here are some example topics at work. This is the Goldilocks, or sort of just the right scale for you. Um, some examples. Pick these. Uh, I, hopefully, you can be innovative and come up with something better than that. Uh, and here, uh, here's the data. Right, that you can you can actually find lots of examples of case studies here in this list. Right, they, they actually these this first set of case studies uh, pretty much have all the information you need, except for the interviews. You might need to go find somebody. Uh, so here are some examples of great case studies, and here are some examples of some really cool organizations that have lots of projects. So there's case studies in here, tons of them, very interesting things that might resonate with you and your profession and your career. Okay, so just to, just to remind you about this assignment, it's complicated, it's got lots of moving parts, right? Lots of move dates that you have to, have to get things to, to me by. Uh, but most importantly, it's difficult because you get to define both the question and the answer. You get to define what the topic is and you get to define how you answer it. So dig in, have fun, send me an email if you have questions.